Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at LPR Trading Group. This is Willie coming at you. Today I had a few tickers on my watch list. One of them was JWN Nordstrom, the other being Best Buy, BBY. I was also looking at CLF, Cleveland Cliffs, and Plug, PLUG. However, I only took two trades today, one on JWN and one on BBY. And let's get into it. So what I was looking here at JWN is, first of all, we had this enormous rally gap up on great earnings two days ago. Okay? We, had, we did grind it up all day long here. And if we look at our volume profile, our VPOC up here, this red line is at the highs of the day, right? Not quite at the highs, but you know, we, all throughout this consolidation area, okay, distribution. I don't assume that this is accumulation at these, these points. But people were stepping in trying to buy this up. This thing was up like, what, 38% or something like that. And uh, yeah, just really overextended. And next day we had a nice flush down after this move here. Let me get out my drawing. After this consolidation in here, we finally got a nice flush down. So we're looking at yesterday's price action. We break down finally off of off these levels here, right? And we come back in, retest, and we get a really nice flush down, uh, and then eventually build out BPOC volume price of control, volume point of control. Sorry, down down at the lows here. Okay, so this is where more volumes came in, which is a good a good dip buy here, right? We're right under this pivot. From the previous day, here's here's the pivot that I'm talking about right over here, and this is good like a nice little trap buy area. Uh, the volumes weren't weren't that great compared to the day prior. They're still above average for for the stock, and yeah, so this this ended up being a nice little trap long, and it gave it gave some some potential there. They we had the markets gap down overnight. They did recover quite a bit. However, uh, we do not have a lot of continuation in the market at the moment, especially on equities. You know, if we're looking at things like steel or copper, for example, those those markets are very strong at the moment and we are seeing continuation like CLF uh, we could look at. However, on other equities like uh, like these, J, JWN, BBY, we're not getting considerable continuation, especially on something that gapped up uh, 38% two days prior. So when I saw the VPOC for yesterday all the way down at these lows at 25.60, I really thought uh, we had some potential to the downside still. Um, you know, I thought we could get down to test uh, the lows of two days ago and even fall into this gap, which we did end up doing in the day here. Uh, I'll show you my entries. Bring up my entries here. I believe it's this chart. No, that's BBY. Here's JWIN. So we initially get uh, a rally off the open on, on pretty decent volumes. You know, we're looking at 183,000 shares. On the next two minute candle, what do we get? A really nice inverted hammer. Okay, this blue line here, which I use a lot on my charts, is, is yesterday's close price. So we came over yesterday's close, we rallied, we got we got longs trapped right up here in this wick, and and we immediately on the next candle come and break down below 2569, which was yesterday's close. <clears throat> I didn't I wasn't ready to take a short in through here. However, uh, we made this low and then we came back and retested the low. And we just broke under it. So this could have been a trap to the other side. Right, if if we wanted to have buyers step up here, right here, uh, we had an opportunity where we just break below yes, uh, opening low, and test it and come back up. Okay, um, along with today's low right here, we have this yellow line is yesterday's price low. So we're coming and we're testing in this price twenty five forty five twenty five fifties, and um, I was looking at the tape here. I didn't see a lot of buyers jump in. And on the third test right here, back through 
45. I started a short. We came back up to test 2550. We got rejected. And if you look at this price, the volumes are really low. Makes sense. We're inside indecision candle. We don't know which way we're going. And then we come back over 50, so we get a little more volume pickup, but then we get a flush down through low of day. Okay, so I added in through here. Come back. Uh, come through here. We open up here. We flush down a little bit, but then we come back in. And what do we do? We always test previous point levels before we actually get a nice move down. So we come back in here and test 2545 once again. And after that, this candle right here kind of got me a little shook. And you can see that I, I took uh, I took some 10% partials right here. And the reason for that, which I was I was wrong in doing so, because we had to come back and test this level, right? 2535 was the level that we were looking at. But I didn't see selling pressure, right? So the volume on this little hammer doji right here is, is minimal. And there's actually more buying than selling, right? I wanted to see a retest of this level, come back down into 2535 and see this candle basically right here. And we didn't see that. The volume was thin and I kind of said, you know what, uh, right now might not be the right opportunity. So I, I took some off. And then of course, how it usually goes, uh, when you're uncomfortable, things usually work out and we get a nice flush down. I took another 10%. And then I said, I have to, I'm gonna add back into this. So how do I go about my ads in here? We come into $25 mark, okay? When we, I don't think we came right into 25, we might've hit like 25.06 or something. Then we come back up a little bit, okay? And as we come back up, I don't see buyers stepping up and I add right then, because I'm expecting a break of 25. Okay, I take a 10% partial and a 25% partial down at a previous open price. So this is from two days ago. Uh, which is the previous open. So um, I took some off there, but then I added back in, took some more off, added more, got a bunch out here. And then we got into this little range, which is actually just a base, basing formation. So here's leg one right here. This is leg one. Okay, I can do it with the arrow. Here's leg one. And then we base out here, and then we ended up getting a nice move down through here. So if we can check that out. I ended up getting stopped out right here, but that was fine. I made uh, 4 R, 4.5 R in this trade right here, and I was happy with that. And one of the things that I really am trying to work on when we get a really nice leg down, like we have right here, off of a proven area support that breaks, okay, I add, 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 but then when I get into these ads, we already had a nice leg down, right? We went from 25.45 down to 24.80 uh, right here. I got some more off, but then I started adding when I need to wait, you know, right? I need to say, okay, we'll probably go up and test $25, right? We'll probably come up and test this nine moving average, maybe on the five minute chart, the nine moving average was up here, 25.10 maybe. So I have to be a little bit more patient if I want to get another, like say 100% add into this and move my average down right to here, right to here, and for the next leg down. And it ended up giving a really nice trade off that. We can look at it here. Get off my drawing tool, look at it here. You can see we get our nice leg down here. We base in this formation right here, and then we get a really nice second leg down all the way into levels that I was interested in, 2420, all the way down through 24. So if I was a little bit more patient, if we look at this on the five minute chart, we can see that we're just making an, uh, a, a lower high right here. This candle, this, this hammer doji right there is a nice candle on big volume. So, you know, we don't know if we're gonna continue, but the markets did sell off more and, and we got a really nice fade. So now let's take a look at BBY. So BBY, we looked at the volume profile. So yesterday we had nice earnings, right? We had 
Well, they weren't great surprise or anything, but there were the uh, the guidance was strong. I believe uh, we ended up bouncing off this zone that I had from way way back, and we built out this demand right here yesterday. So this demand was at 108.20s all the way down to 107.64 roughly. We bounced off of it nicely yesterday and got a rally up, almost a high a day. Uh, this was this was a really nice trade uh, on BBY, and today. I saw this this VPOC up here at 1010. And I it's another one of those NYSE stocks just like JWN and just like uh yeah, JWN is the one the one that faded nicely yesterday and, and today uh, after having a nice rally off earnings. And I said, you know, I don't believe we're gonna have more follow through on this, but I wanna be yeah, I wanna have it on watch. So right off the open, we actually broke below this demand, and I got in short, and I got a move down to 106.50, uh, which we did have another demand zone uh, right through here, and it bounced. We bounced right off this the second demand zone and rallied up, breaking high days and uh, trying to get up to yesterday's close. Uh, then the market sh started showing weakness here. And we we eventually made a full retrace down to low a day. And this is when I looked back at this and got interested in it. So when we come back in and look at, at low a day here, uh, we have right here is our 15 minute initial balance. Okay, from, and we come and test it here. We test it here and I got short right in here. And then I added again in here. And I got this real nice leg down, down to right here again. And what is the lesson from today? I did the same thing with JWN, is that I expect after a leg like this, actually it's, it's a leg like this, right? It's all the way up from, from high days down to here, basically. But I expect somewhat of a, pull, a pullback. Markets were <clears throat> showing, markets were at low days here. They had a... They were trying to figure out if buyers were present on ES, and we eventually did break down really nicely here. However, I was impatient, and I'll show you my entries. Uh, I, I made really good gains on this trade. However, there's always more, right? There's set the, the second leg down, and if I was a little bit more patient on my later ads in here, I could have probably gotten this and not destroyed my average. But I, I, my average got too low, and I had to get out. So. If we take a look at BBY trade here, so like I said, we have this is the 15 minute initial balance. This is what I'm interested in. We bounced off this demand and rallied nicely. You see my short here, and I'm getting stopped break even uh, for a small profit. And I was on this initial trade, I was looking at 150, 50, 105, 50s, and, and 105. Uh, this is the gap fill area under here. So, you know, I was looking at 105 for final target, especially off of initial flush down. Uh, I can't expect to get all the way into this on initial flush off the open. And when I came, like I said, when I came, we came back into it, I'm looking at the two minute chart. Uh, we test it here. And on the third test, right? So here's one test, two test. First test is for suckers. Uh, the third test of this, right? So here's one, two, three. Third test is for the pros, fourth test even. And that's when I got in. The volumes were really tiny at this point. The spread was pretty high. And um, I did end up taking some off right here at 106. Just because this was low a day, I took 10% off there and then 10% off at 105, 105.60s. Uh, and then I took some off under 105.50. I added 100% back in to this trade. And then I took a bunch off into uh, what is uh, the high of this gap where we opened up trading yesterday or where our low of trading was yesterday. And I took a bunch off. And then this is when I got impatient probably, right? So came down, took off. We held under 
in this nice little candle. And I was looking for, you know, maybe we'll just we'll flush down into 103.50s, 103s. And I got some 80% of my position off right here, which was a really nice area to get off in and then stop break even. But like we said before, what did we do? We came back up into uh, 105. Okay, we, did we even break 105? 105.08, right? So we got back up into 105. Look at this right here. My average was right here because of these ads. If I would have been a little bit more patient after this ad, my average was up here at 106 still. Okay, I added in 25, 25, and 50, I believe, and got a bunch off. So I can't complain. I made I made good money on this. However, if maybe if I would have put 25, 25 instead of that and the extra 50. I could have added another 100% in here because my average might have been only down to 105.50, right? Instead of all the way down to 105, 104.85, I think it was at. So there, there it is, right? Impatient on this consolidation. There needs to be a relief bounce a little bit. There's got to be some profit taking, and that's going to move price higher, like it does, you know, moves price higher a bit. We get good volumes in here, but this is what can we say about this volume right here. We have big volume, 63K candle inside bar. That is, that is sellers selling into any buying into this. All right, they're trying to take the profits off still. And we break above this on an outside bar and then boom we flush down this is a great ad right there on inside bar ikaki afterwards uh, which is a pattern that some traders in our group really love to look at and so that was what we had today and um, if you have any questions or anything like that please hit us up you know our trading community here is really doing great and i'm going to pull this over real quick because uh, this is magnus one of our members and in our trading community. Oh, hold on a second. And I want to show you. I said, hey, Magnus. Uh, he said that he got in on uh, on JWN. And I was like, hey, I bet you we got in at the exact same chart or setup right here. And what do you know? Tw right under 2445, right where I got in. And he took it down to 2490 just a great trade this is what we love to see community members taking the exact same trades that that we are taking yeah i hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and if you want to hit us up you know we can 